After months of deadlock in Washington, there is momentum building in Congress to pass a second COVID relief bill. But despite what many people were hoping for, this bill does not include stimulus checks. It's also much smaller than what some people had wanted. But policy experts say it is not a bad bill as long as it's a temporary solution. LEX 18's political reporter Carolina Buchek digs into what is in the bill. Time is running out for Congress to pass a much needed coronavirus relief bill. And after months of will they, won't they conversation, it finally looks like a deal is possible. So but it's not the deal Democrats were wanting, and it's not the deal Senator Mitch McConnell was wanting. The proposal came from a group of bipartisan senators, and it's worth $908 billion. Policy experts say it has the bones to help a lot of people in Kentucky. It does things like extend um, unemployment benefits that are expiring in, in weeks from now, um, just the day after Christmas. It helps um, provide more aid directly to local and state governments, which is really important right now. And it helps provide uh, funding for things that allow the state to combat the coronavirus, including the distribution of a vaccine. But some economists say this $908 billion is not enough money. Kentucky and the rest of the country are going to need more help to survive the rest of the pandemic. A $1.7 trillion stimulus alone would just be enough to sort of hold us even in terms of unemployment and job loss. So the current stimulus bill lawmakers are looking at will be good enough to help people get through the next few weeks, but experts say it should be a temporary solution. I think uh, if we think about it as a stopgap measure through to when there's a new Congress and a new administration federally, um, then, then it would be very helpful for Kentuckians. And of course, there's the issue of stimulus checks. Many people were hoping to get one, but Congress's current bill doesn't include them. However, that doesn't mean they're completely off the table forever. Experts say stimulus checks down the line could help boost the economy, just like they did a few months ago. We know that back in April, consumer spending was in a nosedive. And when the stimulus check started hitting people's mailboxes and bank accounts, they really stopped the slide and actually helped it go back up, which is important because, you know, people's livelihood depends on us spending that money in, in the community. So no stimulus checks before the new year, but funding for other important things is currently on the table in Washington. In Lexington, Carolina Butrack, LEX 18 News.